Welcome back, everybody, to the grand finale of Aegidius. It's going to be another tricky one by the looks of those swords. So let's get into King of the Romans. Alas, what Rissimer couldn't achieve by the bite of his fangs, he finally achieved it by the creep of his venom. As he was about to march his army down south to avenge Majorian's death and to free Italy from evil itself, my father succumbed to poison poured in his cup by a spy. For it is I, Syagrius, son of Aegidius, who has picked up the torch of civilization in his footsteps. Right where it fell, as its light was dimming out once again, and darkness was about to swallow it forever. They call me King of the Romans. I do not fancy myself with such a title. I do not fight for Rome anymore, nor do I fight for crowns and titles. I fight for my father's legacy. I fight for those under my responsibility. I fight against barbarians. Alrighty. Fight. Hey, look, a relic with 10,000 armor. The crypt is ready to welcome the remains of your father so that he may rest in peace within God's realm. God certainly works in mysterious ways. He claims my father's life just before he could restore Rome to its true self. Blue. I've not learnt in spiritual matters. But I have the honor to have known your father, and to have fought by his side. If you are even half the man he was, I have no doubt that you will make This is proud. quite the spread out base. Still, the alliances that stood with my father are in shatters now that he's gone. And marching on Rome in this precarious situation would only compromise my possessions here in Northern Gaul. Indeed, sire. If the central position of your realm makes your alliance valuable to some of the barbarian kingdoms vying for power in Gaul, the Franks, the Bretons, or the Visigoths are all competing for Roman support. Okay. Securing an alliance with one of these powers would just buy us a fighting chance. But if I am to rise above these petty kings and usurpers, I must first restore my authority over the region and claim a new legitimacy. Okay, to so you have to pick up relics. Okay, uh, hold relics, get seven relics, and one monastery must stand. You start in the castle age and control a large but poorly defended territory. You can support a population limit of 150 and can advance to the imperial age. Uh, we can't uh, train centurions nor have access to Roman unique tax. Oh. Could not build more castles, monasteries, or universities. Although you don't have to pick an ally at all, the civilization you choose to team with will also grant you the benefits of its own unique units and technologies. Which path will the Gallo-Romans fall? Each faction starts with possession of one relic. You'll have to fight for every item. You're surrounded by hostile factions, but they also are wary of each other so and won't send too much against you early on. But if you gain too much power, they will react consequently over time. Theoretically, Rome has evacuated the northern province of Britannia several decades ago, but rumor has it that the Romans would still remain trapped on the island. Could they still be alive? The Alano Sarmatian auxiliaries are settled on your domain and can be relied upon once more, provided you find them. Uh, we inherit a large domain in uh, northern Gaul. Our army is spread thin. We cannot rely on Roman officers and technologies. We're surrounded by hostile factions. The Franks, the Bretons, and the Visigoths previously allied or tied with other treaties to Aegidius, but have now broken free from their obligations. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so we have to ally with one of them. Several other factions. There are the Burgungans, the Alamans, and the Saxons. And then there's Britannia, which we need to get to. Okay, um... Yeah, I mean, we are spread out all over the place. Oh, boy. 
This is not pretty. Wait, why? Hold on. Why is this not clamping my... Clamp mouse... Why did that turn off? That's so weird. Just DE things. Uh, do we have any gold anywhere? I mean, there's, there's so much going on. We are cut off from Rome. We simply cannot rely upon Roman officers and Roman technology anymore. Mm. We might learn new ways of waging war from our ally, however. Um. Alright, so... Yeah, this is going to be tricky. Ah, here we are. Defend the lands that were granted to our people. We ride with Syagrius, son of Agidius, and king of the Romans. <laughs> Sounds good, man. Salve, prontus. Venor. Oh, wait. Uh, the Franks, Britons, or Visigoths. So which civs are they? Well, Franks. <laughs> <laughs> Britons and Visigoths. So we can bump up our cavalry, our infantry, or our siege. Um, I guess it would make... Because we get Perfusion and Anarchy plus Huskarls. And Huskarls plus Legionaries could be good. We could get Throwing Axemen, though, and that would be fun. Or Woad Raiders, which could also be fun. Uh, hmm. Well, we're going to be facing mostly infantry, right? So Huskarls might not be that useful. Woad Raiders could be good. Chivalry and Bearded Axe. Could help out our cavalry, too. But then we get siege upgrades from Bretons. But I kind of want to go for throwing Axemen and Legionaries. Besides, the Franks helped us out last time, right? They didn't require any, uh, any fighting. I can see that you inherited the wisdom of your father, young king. Ha! Roman discipline and Frankish axes. Nothing will stop us. Nothing will stop us. I don't know what that is. Oh... Right. So I guess the whole northeastern part of the uh You can garrison relics in pagan shrines? I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Ah! Anyway, I think we should go after the Saxons first. Because that will open us, open us up to uh, Britannia. Also, we have those Alans units. Still, you have to be careful. Keep everyone alive. Oh, wait, there are more of them. Where are the Saxons, actually? Oh. 
Salve. Cosa? Um. Okay, we got those guys. Okay, let's get another TC. It's hard keeping track of everybody, though. Okay. Let's go for a monk and move the relic to a safer location because we only need to keep like one of the monasteries alive, right? Also, let's not let our macro slip more than it always does. Salve. So obviously we're, we're here in France, right? This is probably Paris. Or what will eventually become Paris. I don't remember its Roman name. Do that. Okay, so the Bretons should be way over here to the west. The Visigoths should be to the southwest. The Alamans should be to the east. The Burgundians should be to the southeast. Okay, um... But yeah, I mean, the Franks are all the way up there on the coast. Uh, I have no idea where the Saxons are then, right? I mean, the Saxons should be... I mean, are they in Britain already? I don't think the Saxons migrated to Britain until later on. Okay, um... Okay, there are more Saxon... Saxon Axemen. Okay, there's some more stone over there. Some long boats. Uh, let's just get a galley first, actually. And there are some pajama warriors. Let's get murder holes just to be on the safe side. Okay, let's see what's going on with the Britons. Or the Romans in Britain, rather. Um, what's all that? Ah, here we are. We have been cut off Rome a long time ago. The locals revolted, and we are now overwhelmed by the Picts and the Saxons. Please, you've got to help us flee the island. Um, how exactly? 
Do you want me to send transports over or what? They reach our monastery, the Saxons will desecrate it and destroy our holy okay. relic. You must send us a monk and take it away to safety before it's too late. Okay. Impera. Eus. Colligo. Edifico. Prontus. Edifico. Edifico. Impera. Ah! Okay, there are the Bretons. There are a few resources for us. We would put these to good use against the Saxon dogs. The Saxon doges? Let's get the ballistics. Let's get some throwing axemen. Count Polish shall be remembered over the centuries. He stood for justice with my father when all hopes had died. Served me faithfully till the very end. Farewell, my old friend. Okay. Now I think we still get Roman bonuses. Uh, cannot remain on the field with this wound. You must live to fight another day. Eus, salve, salve, Eus, salve. Um. Sente, edifico. I guess we can send a few relics to Rue Britannia. I know I'm over booming, but like we just need something right now. Yeah, we still have the discount on our scorpions. I guess the Saxons are over that way. Here, take the relic and bring it to safety on the mainland. It belongs on Roman soil. Sea Raider. Wait, we have nowhere to go. More families like us are fleeing the Picts from the north. Oh, please, bring us to Gallia with you. Okay, I guess we do that. Ah! Use a flare on a monastery to make him return. 
father used to say that the measure of a soldier was his scars. I'll wear this one with pride. Okay, um... Let's get some extra towers down. Okay, let's click up to M. We need to get some trebs rolling. Um, guess we'll Dunkirk you. But it doesn't seem like these guys are going to last that much longer. Get Bearded Axe. Uh, I guess we'll repair you. Okay, those are the Visigoths and Imp. Burgundians. I don't know, do that. Okay. <laughs> it is tricky to keep track of everything. Uh, well, don't think uh, you're gonna last all that much longer. Thank you for your help. We have found a new land for our families and a new hope. Yep. Rip. Impera. Yeah, we don't get ballistas, unfortunately, but we should still, you know, get our benefit from our dudes benefiting from the upgrades and stuff. Why can't I build a farm That's so weird. I don't know why we can't build more universities, but whatever. We have the two relics now. Get some of those guys. Hey, everybody clicking on up. Now, I'm not going to miss anything like uh, uh, commands or something like that. It looks like the Franks are just going to kind of do their own thing. Which, I mean, the more bad guys they hold off, the better. We'll have to see where they have uh, housed the relic, though.
Wait a minute, hold on. Okay, that's that's fine. That's also fine. Uh, come over here, build a mining camp, why not? But they're just gonna die immediately! Oh, no. I can't even get the, uh, the achievement anymore, or whatever bonus I get. At least that's what it looks like. Attacked somewhere. Ah! Freaking Saxons? And I think I need to defeat everybody, right? Oh, they even have a stronghold. OP uh, Oh Hello Let's keep this rolling shall we Still looking for that monastery, though. Gotta have a relic somewhere. Castle's still doing all right. Guess we can upgrade our hero. Okay, there go the Bretons. I would assume the relic is somewhere over here. Indeed, indeed. You're resigning and you're converting my dudes? What a jerk! Anyway, now to work towards the Bretons. Anyway, looks like we're fine over here. Mining camp. Get you and bring you back over here. We can also get fervor. Yeah, let me know what the uh, getting the refugees does. I wasn't able to get there in time. Go 
Salve, Recte. E Pugnemus! Ti mi serve. Ad arma! Salve. Oh, come on. Ti mi serve. Where are the rest of. Ugh! Impera. Pronto. Impera. E Salve. Podio. Wait a minute. Okay, there are eight players in the game. So I guess we need seven. We need seven relics, right? So the uh, we start with one. We got one from the Bretons. So I think we get one from everyone else but our ally. I think. Oh, what? Yeah, this doesn't even go all the way around. I hope we don't need to bother with the Navy. Do I have any monks left alive? I might not. Oh, I do. Oh, don't tell me that it gets arrowed down by that guard tower. Yeah, it definitely does. Anyway, onward and upward. They don't even have that afraid of upgrades. Did the monk die? Get the freaking relic, dude. Oh, uh, I don't know. Do that. Oh, they have a relic, just not in a, in a church, of course. They're, theirs is just hanging out over there by some loot. Saxons? To take over Gaul. Oh, of course. And for the Romans to submit to their new overlords. Bend the knee, or taste my axe. And my axe. Uh, do not remain on the field with this wound. I must live to fight another day. Salve. Well, that's unfortunate. So I guess we don't need everybody's relics. We did need everyone except one. Nope. 
Oh, they probably have monks looking for relics, too. Get some of that going. Okay, that relic's back. Let's go get that one. Okay, they have another castle. Get that. Salve. Tibi Servio. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Burgundians, what are you doing? Of a soldier was his skull. Okay, well, we'll get that one back eventually. Don't you guys worry. Do I want to go for Cavalier with Chivalry? to three relics. I've got onagers too. Great. Oh, cannot remain on the field with this wound. I must live to fight another day. Get you. There's gold there I can take. Need to remember that. I imagine their relic is somewhere in a monastery over here. There we go. Upgraded towers. Are you building another castle, you jerk face? Salve. 
It'd be nice to be able to build monasteries, but we don't get what we want in life now, do we? Did they already yoink the relic? Ah! I like how we have Renaissance style keeps next to, uh, you know, early Middle Ages yurts. I know they aren't the actually yurts, but, you know. You know what I mean. There is more gold I can take down here as well. Oh man, they're still spamming more, uh... Jeez, how many castles do you need? Oh, there's the relic. Oh, it says we're the Gallo-Romans, right? We're not the, the Roman-Romans. I just noticed that. Do I really try and finish these guys off? Because I've already gotten the relic. Cannot remain on the field with this wound. Can I build walls at all? I can. I try not to wall in campaigns normally, but uh, there is a sufficient amount of craziness going on in this map that I feel like I should not be begrudged for going for walls. <laughs> Now I have four relics. Now this area, unfortunately for us, is still absolutely crawling with enemy units. So I think we'll grab their Burgundian relic and then make our way up here, get this relic, and then go after the Franks. Alright, at least this area should be relatively safe. There's the relic. Salve. 
Those at least aren't elite Coustier. Spam and keeps at me. Okay, where's my mom? Father used to say that the measure of a soldier was his scars. Ah, here's one. Five relics. Start to move our units away. Start working back up here, get this relic, and then go up there. At least they're busy destroying walls and nothing useful. Okay, Monk is going back appropriately. Oh, something weird is going on with the uh, fog of war. <laughs> it was advancing through the black area. Okay, that's a new one. Ah! <laughs> Stop! Hammer time! to build units on this side of the bridge and puddle them into a choke point. Oh, now the Visigoths are back. Okay. 
Well, the scenario started out very easy, and then uh, decided to not be easy. Yeah, yeah, the soldier and the scars and all that stuff. Oh, there's a frickin' castle over there. Ah. you first. Hopefully our villagers will arrive here soon. Yeah, I guess gold over here is... I mean, we have five relics, right? So our our gold income isn't going to be that bad, no matter what. These lumber camps. I've forgotten to do that. Now my wood income is very bad. Okay, finally. man and there is the uh, resetting of the soundtrack oh, cannot remain on the field with this wound. You must live 
to fight another day. I'm gonna run out of resources soon. some cavalier going just to have units near the front lines and that uh, train quickly with uh, chivalry Are you stopping? Oh! Get you! <laughs> Snatch the pebble from my hand, grasshopper! know the relic somewhere over here in a uh, pagan church. Yes, yes, the Father Scars, we get it. lasting long enough. Well, we did have to give up this eastern area, but everything else we were able to do, and the only enemies 
the only relic we didn't get was the Alamans relic. I mean, this certainly fits the bill for the big epic finale. With a very good ca uh, custom campaign. And I like the relic getting mechanic because it means you have to really try and make sure you can sustain your territory. And it's not as straightforward as, oh, just defeat all your enemies, right? Which would be a lot grindier than this. And fits with the overall theme better anyway. Anyway, we should be basically good to go at this point. Kind of unfortunate. Yeah, someone let me know what happens with Britannia. If you get all the, the bills or the carts over or whatever. There, I guess. Franks have resigned, but we will be winning in just a moment. But yeah, the Visigoths came back, the Burgundians came back. I mean, it's a good thing we took down the Bretons and the Saxons early on. Because, like, once we took down those two, it was uh, rough. Rome's heart still beats strong in Gaul. My rule is questioned by neither yeah. warlord nor king. The old world is at dusk. A new era has already dawned. Huzzah! It has been more than 30 years now that Aegidius has left us. I live like a ghost at a time when the old world has already died, but when the new one hasn't been born yet. I am tired of reaching out for the first, as well as I desperate for the latter. Rissimer is long dead and forgotten, without any legacy of his own, beside the evil he brought to this world. The Empire is finished. I watch the dawn breaking on my encamped army. Today, my 6,000 carefully picked soldiers will face 6,000 Frankish warriors. This was what King Clovis and I had settled upon to end the decade-long conflict that broke between our realms, once united under Aegidius's command. Whoever triumphs upon this day on the plains of Novidunum will rule over both the Franks and the Gallo-Romans. Without destructions, without desecrations, without unnecessary bloodshed. Today, Barbary stays on the battlefield, and the torch of civilization passes to the best of us. If I get the better of Clovis and crush his army, I won't be simply Roman anymore. Yet if my opponent emerges victorious, he will likewise cease to be just a Frank. Whoever the winner is, before the sun sets upon this day, he and his people will have become something new. Oh man, good old Clovis, founder of the Franks, or the kingdom of the Franks, rather. Manuel Capuche did the campaign. Great job with it. Very, very fun. Here are all the stats and stuff. But yeah, definitely let me know if you had a bit of a different experience playing this, because it seems like you could do this one several ways. Yeah, these guys were annoying to finish off, so it wasn't really worth it. Same with the Burgundians, but they still had tons of stuff, actually. So it's a good thing we just sort of made a beeline right for the relic. Here's uh, the Alamon's base. 
And this is their pagan shrine. They're hammer bros. And yeah, no idea what would have happened if we had protected more of Britannia, so definitely let me know what that was all about in the comments. But yeah, I mean, really fun campaign. Definitely recommend it to uh, you guys. How much relic gold did we get? Eh, over 8k. Alright guys, so that is it with the GDS. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time in whatever we're doing.